So this is why we say this communication and this beautiful relationship, if you feel protected as a child, as you're growing up, I'm sure it would make it so much easier for you to respect your parents, to make dua for them, to actually cry when you're away from them, to call them whenever you're away from them, to find out where you are or to give them news of where you are and to tell them to make dua for you as well. The dua, do not underestimate it when it comes from your parents, which means the supplication. When your parents pray for you when they supplicate for you it is a powerful powerful supplication because if they were to pray against you in a justified manner it is also powerfully against you when a father prays for the destruction of his or her of his child when the mother prays for the destruction of her child if it is justified it is powerful if it is not justified trust me it may rebound back to that particular person the quran says the one who plots evil the evil plot does not be deserved except by those who in fact, the evil plot is not deserved except by those who are on that level of evil. If you are an evil person, perhaps if someone makes a dua against you or curses you, yes, it may affect you. But if you're not evil, we have parents who sometimes, unfortunately, every small thing that happens, they curse their own children. They call them donkey and they call them dog and they call them everything else. I've even heard people call their children baboons. And I think to myself, well, they look just like you. I wonder what that makes you. Subhanallah. And by the way, when you call someone Babun, don't come and lie to me that it means a door in Arabic. We know what you're saying. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. How could you call your own children the names of animals? How could you curse your own child? You'll never see happiness in your life. I'll, I'll show you. You'll see. Allah will not show you. My beloved children, if you don't deserve that prayer, it's not going to affect you. So don't let it depress you or stress you. It's not going to affect you because you don't deserve it. Who was wrong? They were wrong. MashaAllah. My beloved parents, learn to make a good dua for your children, even at times of disagreement. Oh Allah, soften their hearts. Oh Allah, bring them back. Oh Allah, grant them goodness. Keep on making dua. The Prophet ﷺ made dua for the enemies of Islam and their hearts were softened. Look at Khalid ibn al-Walid ibn al-Mughira radiallahu anhuma. Look at Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. Look at the others. They weren't even the children of the Prophet ﷺ. They were members of the Ummah. They were just members of the opposition actually. And the Prophet ﷺ prayed for them. And that prayer was accepted by Allah. They came forth with the softest of hearts. I'm sure Allah would soften the hearts of our children if we didn't give up.